Let me show you what I got. Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. It's pretty chilly, but sun's out. And uh, we got the boat loaded, cars packed. We're heading out now. Let's go. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. <laughs> so we're gonna get changed now and then launch the boat. And then we're ready to go. We have to hurry a little bit because uh, we're a bit late. Uh, we wanted to hit it on Slack and Slack is in like 45 minutes. So we gotta be quick. Welcome back to my channel. It's really been a while. Um, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, first off, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to upload more videos until now. Uh, life got a bit busy there for me with a move and also a new job with very different work hours. Uh, it took me quite some time to settle in and get a routine back. I found a Puget Sound king crab there really early on. I checked if it's male but realized that it's too small to keep. There's no size restriction for these crabs as long as they are male but these crabs can get really big and old and I don't want to take crabs that are this young and have so many years left to reproduce. Unfortunately, I have not been able to go freediving and spearfishing frequently at all this summer. Um, I did get a bit of content together though that is just waiting to be edited. I'm planning to upload videos more often now and get back into my favorite thing in the world. And of course, I'm planning to bring you all along on my adventures. Um, I also have a few big news and ideas for the future, so stay tuned and don't miss out on my next videos. Make sure you hit that little notification button if you want to get notified uh, when I upload new videos. I decided to let this one go because we had greening all winter long and I was hoping to find something else. That did not stop Paul though, he obviously wanted greenling for supper. This stellar sea lion came out of nowhere and got my heart rate going big time, as you can hear. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh
This clip doesn't do any justice to the sheer size of this thing. And as reference, here am I pretending to be as cool as the sea lion. So today's video is still from back in February. It was such a fun little trip and I really enjoyed going through the footage. It really makes me miss the tropical winter visibility though. I still bring my old GoPro Hero 8 along when I go diving and I have always wanted to place the camera at the bottom of the ocean and see what happens. It is safe to say I'm pretty happy with the outcome. A spot that doesn't look very fishy from my perspective all of a sudden becomes alive when no one is near and the perspective really makes these tiny shy fishies look so big and vibrant. Smashing some sea urchins with a rock to attract fish and bring some action. Just don't forget there is a daily limit for sea urchin, which in my case is 12 per day. As you can see though, sea urchin are a real problem at this location. An egg mass of some sort, possibly from the snails. And just before we call it a day, I decided to do a few deeper drops along this rock face. Pretty dark down here, but lucky enough I found another Puget Sound king crab that was male and a decent size this time.
These creatures are one of my absolute favorite in the Pacific Northwest. They are not just super delicious, they also look like they are from a different planet with this orange and purple colored armor. In the meantime, we were finally able to upgrade our outboard engine to more horsepower. This 9.9 .9 worked fine for the occasional freediving trip, but Paul is taking the dinghy to work now and needed a bit more power for safety reasons. Speaking of safety, please no comments about me not wearing the kill switch lanyard. I'm aware and it won't happen again. Promise. We just came back. It's pretty warm in the sun when there's no wind. Pretty cool. <laughs> we had a good time. It's so nice and warm, I don't even want to get out of my wetsuit right now. I'm like literally barefoot. It's so warm. This is the first time in uh, months that I'm not cold while I'm changing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support and everybody that has been bugging me about new YouTube videos in the past few months. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and or leave me a thumbs up. I'm also happy to answer questions or feedback in the comments section. We've got asparagus, baguettes, uh, I think bell peppers and zucchini, um, tomatoes and onions and in here is a fish. 